As they say, men are from Mars, women are from Venus. In this case, we are zoning in on Mars with the NASA app. Yep. So I don't know if you've heard, but there's a project called the Mars One Project that's mm -hmm. gathering a whole lot of human beings who want to go and live mm -hmm. there forever and ever and ever and never come back to Earth. But for those of us who are not on the list of candidates or are hoping to some way someday go to Mars, there's a really cool app that NASA just released called the Mars Trek app. So it's basically your Google Earth for Mars. It just gives you an, a basic view of Mars from a few angles. So your North Pole, your South Pole and a global view of the planets. And you can actually go and explore each of the locations that have been pinpointed so far by NASA and just read about their size, their origin, what's on there, what did NASA do when they got there, some of the history behind it. Uh, and you can also check out some of the little rovers, which are the little robots that the NASA places and it just rolls around the whole planet. It's just learn more about those and what they do and what they've done so far. And if you're really a geek, you can really just have some fun and calculate things such as your distance calculation. So how far is that particular point on Mars from Earth and how ah. far is it from the sun? It's a desktop and um, mobile app. so. You can use it on your PC or your mobile phone, but what I found is that the desktop app is the best use because you know you get a white screen, you can see everything clearly, you can see, uh, navigate clearly. Future astronauts, make sure you hop onto the Mars Trek app. Well, Lungs, I mean, now we can navigate our way around Mars, which hopefully will help us navigate our way around men. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs>